Hello. <coughs> so I'm going to continue off where we left before, but it's been a little while, and I can't remember what I was going to do. Oh, of course, Never Battle Station. There is literally, like, what, f 60 guys? This is mine. Assault the shields. Let's do this. Let's take Nambu Battle Station back. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, they always, why do they always want so much more money? Oh, fine. Fuck off. God damn it, man. To be fair, I'm not, I'm not ever going to win that fight, am I? Just pay a bit of money or lose a lot more. Just makes sense. It's just simple mathematics. Okay, let's lead our soldiers in assault. This could go very wrong or very good. But, you know, okay, we've got distance. But I feel like the game's going to crash. Okay, cool. So, wow, it's lagging really bad. This is a first. Okay, there we go. Texture's loading. Now we're probably good. So, do I have my force jump? No, I don't. We are getting fucking slaughtered, man. Like, really badly slaughtered. I guess I need to turn the tide here myself. Okay. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, well, now we're screwed. Half of these guys aren't even shooting. Okay, well, this seems to be kind of one for one at the moment. Sort of. Now we're getting wrecked. It does look like we outnumber them quite a bit still. But I don't know if that's enough. Because we are just getting absolutely mowed down by a much superior force. We've got elites, imperial guards, all sorts of shit. I may have to flee. Alright, yeah, there's no way we've won. We've lost. Abandon the siege. I hate the auto battle thing that happens when you press tab, where it pretty much slaughters every troop you've got left. No matter what you do. That pisses me off. That needs to be rebalanced. But, aside from that, you know, we're cool, I guess. So, how many men have they got left? Ah, uh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is not good. Uh, fight on Naboo. 12 troops against their 47. Somehow, I feel like this is not going to be successful. I don't know what makes me think that, but... There we go. Okay. Okay, this guy's a Mandalorian Deadeye, so... He should be able to get some good shots. Shit, clicked off the screen. Okay. Oh, of course there's another one. Okay, now we can focus on the real problem. Here's the real fight. Yeah, we've lost. Hands down. There's no fucking way in hell I'm winning this. Ah! Shit. Flee. Flee. Fuck. Okay, so. The worst thing is these things are bugged so that as soon as you get freed they'll chase you and attack you so again I'm gonna cheat myself out of this once I'm freed because otherwise they chase after you and 
it's just bullshit. You can't win because they're, they're automatically faster than you. So I'm going to skip my way over here. And then, I guess... Okay, can't go to Dagobah. Go to Dagobah's moon. Recruit volunteers. Fuck, Dagobah's got, like, no defenders. Best bin. My favorite planet. And it looks like everything I've got is something you'd find in Bespin for for very cheap. So this is not very good. Um, Jura Steel. Maybe. Oh, God. This is terrible. Okay. So I need to spend the rest of my money like buying troops, I guess, so that I can possibly make it. Uh, back across the galaxy to a place where I can trade. Oh, look, this guy has stuff I can use. Okay, soldiers. Nope, they don't have anyone. Well, fuck. Okay. So, where's the nearest planet I can trade with that isn't one of the. Um, hmm. This place is becoming more friendly. Um, so, I guess it's Christophsis. So I've just got to cut through. Just going past Naboo that gets me. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, shit. This is bad news, man. Can I flee? Can I flee? Can we flee? Fuck, fight on the ship. Oh, man. Fuck everything about this, man. Honestly. I miss the time when I had my force jump. I bet they're all running towards me as well. Yep. Oh, shit. No way. Might actually have this. Fuck, man. This is crazy. One sec. I'm getting some serious hand cramp. Okay. Try and continue. Fuck, this is intense. Uh, 
I know I'm probably making this look easy, but it really isn't. Oh, man. I can't believe that. Oh, fuck. Is that everyone? No, there's definitely more. Fuck, I don't like this. This is way too close for comfort. Oh, thank God. Nabu Velvet. I guess this is stuff they stole from me before. It's gotta be. Well, I'll go for that. I can trade it. Take a walk around the ship. Let's go to the medical bay. That was the one. So I'm hoping my ship is faster than his, and maybe a risk. But I might try and go to Naboo just to um, see if I can rest there. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to give it a shot. Might be a risk, but it's the only way to avoid these bastards. Maybe it isn't though. Man, I'm worried. I just want to get out of here without having to go through that again. Because I, I don't think I can pull that off again without a few men to take the hit for me. It's a risky game. Okay. Here goes. Okay, so... Fuck, man. That was like instant. Okay. This one's not happening. There's no way I've got this. Fuck. Fight on the ship again? No way. Maybe I should fight on the boot this time. I wonder how many of those are speeders, though. Maybe I should get behind cover. Trees. Well, you know, you can't choose your cover. I'm going to go for a tree near a hill. Fuck it. As long as this isn't like fleeing area, There's plenty of space to. Uh Plus, I guess being this far back gives me a bit more time to. Fuck. Okay. I've lost Dura Steel, Mandalorian Wine, DH-17. No, that's my gun, I think. Oh, may maybe it's like one of the ones that are stolen from... Uh, so there you go, I've escaped. Now they're going to chase me straight away, but that's not fair. So I'm uh, no way. I'm not a fan of being fucked over by un inconsidered game mechanics you know, where things have gone wrong by accident because they haven't fucked that. No, 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 they don't. It's bullshit. Ugh. I fucking hate that, man. They... Normally, in default Mountain Blade, parties don't automatically follow you once they've captured you and you've, you've escaped. You're, like, undetectable to them for a, for a fair period of time. But for some reason in, that, in this mod, there's a bug that prevents that from happening. And I don't want to play through being constantly fucked over by bugs, so... Okay, so sell this stuff. Also, I'm a little butt hurt from losing this stuff, so... Okay. Durasteel. Okay, maybe not all of the Durasteel. Fuck, man! I keep. Lo I've lost a lot of shit. Did I sell anything there that I could use myself? Hmm. Maybe I sold it to the goods merchant. No. Okay. Cheese and pottery. Very nice. 
Okay, no, I spit too much for the sea salt. Transportation merchant can have some Jira steel. An armor merchant can also have some Jira steel. That's cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Bartholi and try and sell some more stuff. Shit, I should have totally hired the army there. That was bad. Okay, Nabu Velvet. Bam. Perfect. Weapons merchant. Nabu Velvet. Armor merchant. Nabu Velvet. Jira steel. Uh, Mandalorian wine. Oh, this is beautiful. This is too good. Perfect. So now I'm pretty wealthy again. I'm going to go obviously straight to the cantina and hire an army so that I can actually not get my ass kicked so quickly. So none of these are any anyone I know. Um, let's hire a bunch of Solstens, Genesian, Chiss, Bothan, Rhodian, Twi'lek, Twi'lek female, Gamorian, Wookiee, Trandoshan, oh, Monkamarian. Must have missed those guys. And that's everyone who's cheap. And let's move on to um, Gamor. Let's see if I can get some good prices there. Actually, though, hmm, can I get better prices elsewhere? All right, let's go to Kashyyyk. Man, I really need to do something about my honor because. It's weird. I'm being seen as a dishonorable bastard, but I'm just not letting my enemy go free, because otherwise they'll fuck up the galaxy. I'd say I'm a pretty good guy. Okay. S some big, big spending. Okay, let's go to Kashyyyk. Oh, fuck. Moth to Gerard. I'm sure I've beaten him before. We will fight you to the end. Fight on the ship. Fight on Kashyyyk. Oh, we're not going to win on Kashyyyk. Oh, fuck it. We're going to live once. Let's do this. So I've got an untrained army that's three to one outnumbered. Let's do this. Oh, man. I, I need force jump back. I can't survive without force jump. Okay, so first port of call would be, generally speaking, to defeat the speeders. So I'm going to use this time to pick away at them. There you go. Fuck, that took an un unreasonable amount of time. So they, they start from quite far away, so hopefully I can pick off a few of them. There's no more speeders because they are a nightmare to fight. So hopefully these shots will weaken them and result in a few kills when they get nearer. Or maybe even before they get nearer. Now it worries me when they disappear on the horizon because it means they're going to just appear out of nowhere and start kicking my ass. Here we go. And now we've got loads of these speeders and they're going to really cause problems because I won't be able to deal with them. Shit, clicked off the screen. Oh, shit. Oh. I've accidentally opened the programming application in the background. Here they come. Here's the cavalry. Well, actually, the cavalry already came. This is the infantry. Now, hopefully, we can do some damage here. I'm hoping to go for headshots, to be honest. But, yeah, we are royally fucked right now. Maybe if I take them sideways. Well, no, that just leaves me open to be fired on by all of their army. One stray shot is all it takes, and I'm dead. And suddenly the Raph is on my army. But they are a charging army, and this is awesome. If we keep this up, we might have won. Holy shit. Come on, guys. We can do this. No, shit, their army is still now. And watch the kills roll in against us. We're going to get slaughtered. We've lost. Oh, have we? Fuck, what's going on? This is awesome. Okay, shit. I mean, even slight, even like a slight few deaths right now on our side is bad. 
I'm feeling more confident, but I'm slowly losing it. We're seeing more red now. We've won. I think we've won. Oh, this is awesome. Uh-oh. Oh, man. It's really hard to call this. Now we're getting more kill. Now we're getting... Oh, shit. This is going to be like a fucking man for man. I'm going to be glad I hired those Twilight -like females. They'll make, make all the difference. Okay. Yes. We've, we've got to have one now, right? Woo! Fuck, that was a dogfight. That was really close. <sighs> oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to leave. I'm going to train my troops up. Now, this is perfect because this gives me an advantage. His troops aren't going to train up. But I now have... I mean, these. I have Twi'lek warriors. Gamorian warriors. Wookiee warriors. Twi'lek dancers. And mercenaries now. And also... I can heal up myself. So now when he fights me again, he's going to be fighting against me and against a few slightly more trained troops. And, we're, and we've got less of an advantage against us as well. So this is definitely turning in my favor, this accidental run-in. Maybe I can end up capturing myself an enemy lord, which would be perfect. And I'm going to see when I loot him if I can find some more ammo for this gun or a lightsaber. Either one would be great because, yeah, I'm running kind of low right now. So, let me just, uh, so we've got about 10 minutes left over this playthrough. Let's make a count. Hopefully I don't get my ass kicked so much. Um, yeah, this guy's, he's mine. Where is he? Also, he's got a lot of prisoners, which will be fun. Fighting Kashyyyk. I've got 12 against his 27. These are the guys who survived the last battle. Got a Genesian drone, Twi'lek dancer, Everyone some hut mercenaries, Wookiee warriors, Twi'lek warriors, and uh, Gamorian warriors. So everyone here is now a much more elite troop, which will make all the difference. Definitely. This is good stuff. Now... Just like before, I'm going to take a few steps forward so that I can, uh... Why does it seem like they've got more cavalry now than they did before? So, their advantage has just shrunk. They've just lost a few troops. And these just give me an advantage of seeing their heads from farther, farther away. Yeah, I can get some shots. There. Where are they? I guess they're coming over the hill. There we go. Sith Acolyte. I like that they're dying as soon as they pop their heads up. Hopefully we can keep that. Here they come. A charging army always tends to get the worst in this game. So. Shit, I'm down. Nice. Battle is won. So, we gain more renown. And Moff Jajora is dead. We've got rebel cadets, rebel pilots, hut mercenaries, hut skiff, fleet troopers, and I can also take prisoners, and we've got plenty of those. What a result. And now, obviously, also, I've got much higher trained troops, which is great. Definitely helps. Access the item pool, so I guess I can take back some stuff. I know I feel like all of this shit is stuff they've taken from me, but who knows? Maybe maybe he did at some point. Gain 20 morale. 
Also, I can sell my prisoners to this merchant convoy, but I think they're probably trying to rip me off, so I'm just going to go straight to Kashyyyk. I'm going to pay a decent amount for Mithwal. Not so much for Ewok foes. I'm just going to... I'm just going to have to sell all this. Nice. That'll do. And I got some Hydra Spanners. I love Hydra Spanners. I got some Spice. I'm going to buy some just to test the waters. It's not something I've ever bothered trading before, so I'm going to see how that goes. And I'm going to get a Mandalore, which is my sort of home region. Yeah, they're paying a decent amount for Genesian pottery here. I'm sure I can sell that on. Ah, oh, spice has gone for a lot. May as well make my money back. And then we'll go to transportation and sell the rest of this Genesian pottery. Actually, I got this, um, this cheese for quite little as well, so I guess getting rid of that is a plus. So, yeah. Okay, and let's go to Velmo, which is my planet. I still think I need to cap... I'm bordering... Like I, I just realized, actually, my outpost is bordering lots of hostile territory. You've got Wayland, Coruscant, Taurus, Dathomir, these planets. You know, it's all... It's a very hostile space. And, and mine is connected to pretty much all of these so I should I should definitely look at making that less of a, an issue um, which is probably what I'm going to do in the next playthrough but let's go to Velmo first of all so recruit baby rancors holy shit there are nine baby rancors available yes oh my god this is the best thing ever okay let me just upgrade my troops Oh my god. Holy shit. How do they even fare in battle? That's the highest wage I've seen on a troop. These guys are like probably the most elite. Oh my god. This is where everything turns around. No one fucks with baby rancors. I'm going to take them to my sieges. Okay. So let's make some money back on these prisoners. So I'm going to cut this playthrough short here, I think. Um, I'm going to go to Mandalore. I've already traded here. I have. Damn, I got a lot of cheese. I got some cheap Lasher Silk. Some cheap Ewok Furs. Some cheap Hydra Spanners. Okay, let me take some of that back. So, I'm, I'm in a really 50-50 place right now. So, I would like to recruit more troops. But, I would also like to attack one of those places. So, item merchant, yes, I would like to buy plus one to trade. Plus one to tactics. Does that mean I'm more likely to win a battle? I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll buy them later. So it does increase stuff, I guess. It is. It's made those cheaper, but only slightly. By like an extra hundred, I guess. Two hundred. Hundred seventy-five. Hmm. I could do with that kind of discount, maybe. I don't know. I guess I'll come back to it later. I've seen him around on two planets already, so I'm sure I'll bump into him again. I think I just need this money at the moment for more pressing things. And now I can hold 101 troops, so we're definitely getting there for having a really sick troop capacity. Let's get some Twi'leks, some civilians, Thandoshan, Rodian, and some Twi'lek women. So now I've got a really cool army. I've got an army that can hold its own. Um, so now I'm going to head all the way back to... Um, where are we? Shit. Bespin. I'm going to cut through the galaxy, head to Bespin and Hoth, and sell some excess gear I've got.
I've only encountered anything really hostile on my way. There we go. It wasn't too bad. And Hydra Spanners will get the Navi Velvet for very little. I'm going to sell the Lash of Silk fill up. The Kristoff's Cheese fill up. Hydra Spanners, Lash of Silk, Kristoff's Cheese. They basically buy everything that you get for nothing everywhere else. So much. I'm going to buy all their Jura Steel. I'm going to buy some fruit. Some Mandalorian wine. It's just crazy how cheap everything is. Okay, weapons merchant. Have some Hydra Spanners. And actually, holy shit, it's a pole arm. I'm really interested. Lightsaber pike. Heavy lightsaber. I could totally pay for it with all this junk. Um, transportation merchant. Have some Alasha silk. Armor merchant. Have some Ewok furs. So... Hardened Jedi Guardian Robe. So we've got 54 and 20, so that's a total of 74. And that's... That's more. Yeah, that's definitely more. It's 34 plus 48. This is Hardened Jedi Robe. There's more. How much more though? I'm really curious, but my my brain is not doing math, so that's only five. What is this in total? Um, eighty-two. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Right, so I'm going to pay for that with Ewok Furs, Career the Nail. No, nope, Mandalorian Nail is cheap here. We don't want to sell that. More Hydra Spanners. You must pay 400 credits. What a shame. And now, with all that in mind, I can head back to maybe Sarapin and sell off the rest of the stuff. And some of our troops have upgraded too. So that's great news. It's cool. I seem to have a lot of money now. I'm happy with that. This is a good arrangement. So I'm going to sell the Dura Steel. And Navi Velvet. And of course they've got loads of Hydra Spanners. And semi-cheap Lasher Silk. And really cheap Caribbean Nail. Just like that. I made loads more money. So that's cool. Um, did I sell anything on Mandalore? I don't think I actually sold anything on Mandalore. So maybe we're still good. Sell stuff. Yeah, there's still a few credits here. Wow, Mandalore is paying so much for, for that stuff. And a lot for Mandalorian wine too. Shit. Okay, I can go for that. So I'm going to go put some of this in the bank. Uh, go to the bank, deposit. What I like is I can come back and get this anytime, and it can help me do crazy big things. So I'm going to go and maybe have a look at Attack and Terrace or Dathomir. I think at Dathomir because it's, it's an independent planet. Ugh, wait, who's that? Fuck it, he's mine. Prepare to fight on Taris. Let's see what the Taris map looks like. I've never fought here before. This is cool. This is a relatively small map, so I guess we can afford to send our fleet out. And holy shit, baby Rancors. Oh man, I need to put the baby Rancors in their own separate groups, so, because I want to keep everyone else behind. But like, exclusively, exclusively melee troops need to be like... How are we losing so many men? Baby Rancor knocked unconscious. No! 
This is bad. There we go. I really hope we pull this one out of the bag because as it stands we're getting our asses kicked. I mean it looks like there's not so many of them but I think we're just seeing it from far away. I mean our guys are getting shot from the side because we can't seem to deal with these speeders. Once the speeders are dead all I'm going to be facing forward and we'll be able to shoot this threat. Looks like my speeders have also done the same and are causing disruption over there but now we're all being focused on and we're getting our ass kicked. Big time. Those baby rankos are fucking weird man. Ah, oh, man, I feel like we're not going to win this one. My guys aren't doing a good enough job. Kill this guy, man. Fuck, he's killed, like, everyone. Okay, and now we can focus on the enemy. And so our kills will rise because we're all f targeting them. That makes sense, right? Sucks about the baby rankles, though. I wish I could send them forward and let the guys do the shooting. But I need separate categories. I guess they're just target practice with hopefully some high HP. I think we've lost, though. I mean, judging by the amount of men they have there, the kill-death ratio is not in our favor right now. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Leave. I have. I still outnumber them. Um, I have 57 troops against the such and such. Troy container, rebel fleet trooper, rebel vanguard, rebel pilot. Jimmy's using drone. Okay, and stationing. Let's go to the med bay. So we didn't kill an awful lot of them. We, we seem to have killed maybe like 20, 30 of their men. Definitely need to work on that. Damn, I've just realized this playthrough has gone like way longer than I, I wanted it to. So once this battle's over, I'm going to end the playthrough there, guys. Um, and hopefully I can end it on a high note having kicked this guy's ass and not wasted an opportunity. But damn, it's baby rancors, man. Maybe I should let them charge. I wonder, I, I need to do the troop assignment thing now, then. I'm going to see if I can do that. Because I know you can in Mountain Blade, it's not something I've ever really bothered with. Because m usually the game is, it's, it's very clear with who is cavalry, who is infantry, etc. So let's have a look. Party. Uh, drones. <gasps> no, they all died. Fuck. They were like my prize soldiers. Um. Okay, we will fight you, Antares, once more, you fucking bastard. All right, let's send let's send the cavalry forward. Wait, hang on. So there are more baby rancors. What happened? I thought they were all gone. Oh, for fuck's sake. So I've only gone and fucking killed two of my guys, haven't I? There we go. Now we're cooking. These guys are trouble, though. Let's take them out. Okay, can we fucking survive this time, guys? The answer is maybe. Although a couple of those, a couple of my troops can't do anything. For example, these guys. Hopefully, they just soak up some bullets. Here you go. Yep, go forward, Rancor. Get shot. Get shot. Soak up the bullets. Protect our actual firing units. We have another kill in ages. This makes me unhappy. There you go. There's one, two. Two kills. Can we make it a third? Can we make it a third? No. No, we can't. No, we definitely can't. We're just getting our ass kicked more and more. Oh, this fucking sucks. There we go. We got another kill. 
This line is looking thinner. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're even now. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of them. And it's even. I'm going to try and flee. So we've got 16 against their 17. Going to upgrade again. Where are the... Baby Rancor. Look for the word baby. Okay. Talk. No. Tell me about yourself. Can I change where they are? Tanaki Rank? No. Um, fuck, man. How do I separate them? Infantry. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Our name's when. Rename group. Rancors. That's how we do it. So they are part of the Rancors group. Perfect. That works. So that'll be for every melee troop now. I can do the same for the security guards because they don't have any guns. Which is really fucking stupid. I guess they're bodyguards. They're protecting you nearby. But they just stand around and get slaughtered if they're in a line of troops. So this will allow me to send the um, them forward. Alright. Third time lucky. Um, okay, so Rancors. Rancors charge forward. Um, infantry hold the position. Archers hold the position. Cavalry charge. So let the baby Rancors do the, the fighting. What the fuck is this? Why can't anyone move? Oh shit, I didn't heal either. Guess I'm gonna make myself count. I'm really nervous about this. There aren't many of them left. There's three guys left. Three guys left. Oh, never mind. We're actually doing pretty good. I somehow thought it was going to be a case of I die and then there's one Rancor left and the Rancor's just going to get his ass kicked. But it seems like we're doing much better. Still, I am one shot away from there. Damn, that is some ugly shit. There we go. There's another Lord captured. So I'm going to take him back home. That was a disaster of a fight, though. I lost an entire army. I had a much larger army than he did, so disappointing f result overall if I'm honest um, so I'm going to fly back to Mandalore Outpost and dump him with the rest of the Imperial Lords and I'm going to drop the army in here as well because most of them are injured anyway so they can heal up here and be of actually use to me later on instead of burden me down now and that, my friends, will be the end of this playthrough. So, let me just put my guys away. I don't think there's any to upgrade. Although, what I've noticed as well is that I've gained quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of renown. So this is good. And I think this might be the candidate for the longest episode ever, but it's just because I'm really tired and I haven't noticed how long it's gone on for. So let me just uh, fold away all of my troops. Uh, and most annoying thing is I'm going to be hiring. The, I'm going to be taking these guys back out again soon to like rehire them. So we're not doing too bad right now. Mandalorian outpost holds 305 men, so we've had better. And currently, <coughs> I have 705 renown, so it's still below most people, but it's above. For example, this guy. It's above this. This guy. It's above this guy. It's above this guy, it's above this guy. I'm doing pretty well. 705, okay, it's not above this guy, it's slightly below him. And him. 
As long as I'm better than uh, Jansen. Fucking Jansen. He's got 961. I've got to beat him. I've got to get a bit higher than him. Mandalore Battle Station. I knew it. He's my fucking neighbor again. What a dick. Okay. So that's the end of this episode, guys. Um, I will catch you next time. And hopefully we'll manage my time better.